What the? Help me. Oh, wait, I think I see what's going on here. Right here, BD. I, I think I understand why this works the way that it does. Even though I might die here. So, okay, so these ones, their back is, like, fully blocked, right? So, on the first Tomb Guardians that we were fighting, we could push the ball out and then get damage in. These guys, when they're charging up, we need to pull the ball out from the front, which looks like it's available. And, uh... And do it that way, right? I think that's the science. Oh, interesting. I'm going to frickin' die. I'm going to die here. Attack the enemy. Clutch. Clutch you, McClutcherson. Jedi, <laughs> Shit! Come on, let's go report this. <sighs> I did get that skill point acquired there, though. I wonder... I wonder if we got that before we died. <sighs> too confident, eh? A little too confident, you think? Probably right. Did we get that third skill point, though? God damn it. Ugh. So we lost basically a full bar. Good strategy with the gate. Yeah, it was uh, unintentional, but it seems to work okay. If I have more health when I'm there, it's less of an issue, but when we only have room for, like, one hit... Has to get a little tedious. Excellent. I'm going to try to save my force here. Oh, ah. Uh. You can't stand against us. You get to him? I, I love the little stutter. You can't stand against us. Let's give him a thrashing. Ooh, this guy should have been probably killing me. Not it. Help, please. There we go, baby. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Right 
Is there a way I can, like... Oh, I betcha. Enemy position reached. I knew he would run. Get the Jedi! God, we feel powerful. I love it. Oh. That's not the way. This is really, um, strange. Shit. Oh, you're kidding me. It's really annoying. There's got to be an, a better way. This is as far as the rope goes. We're alive, though. Don't worry. We can get out of this. No problem. We are a Jedi. No problem. Okay, excellent. We've done it. Help, BD. Can I get stim BD one? Oh, great timing. See, I'm trying to like... Oh. <laughs> I got it. Wait. No, I don't have it. What the... Why is this beyond my mental comprehension right now? Oh! Okay. We're doing it for the strategy guide, remember? Guys? We have to experiment with all possibilities. Okay, that was not one of them. You can return fire. He's run. Get him. We're doomed. This is a Jedi. I need a stim, BD. Watch him repair himself. Get me out of me. That's gonna hurt. Fight me, Jedi. Jedi. Can't wait to kill you. Shit. Oh. I'll catch you, Jedi. See ya. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Now, we're in the exact same scenario with the previous thing. Oh, mother of God. Was an offering to the sage buried here. At the time, it was considered precious. Sage of this era demanded precious offerings. You guys, this is a death trap waiting to happen. I have one hit available. I got uh, pistols, this thing. Which way do I need to run? <laughs> Oh no, he's coming for us!
I need safety, you guys. I need it. We'll be back. A Jedi knows when he's defeated. Called Wisdom. Don't worry, young Padawans. You will learn. Just waiting for, like, one random frickin' laser blast. Uh, this is not good, actually. This does not help me at all. This does not help. I have to face it. What's up, Trace? How you doing, buddy? Thanks so much for the 15 months, man. Honestly, you play better when you have 1 HP. I, yeah, that's true. That's true, but... Uh, this is going to be a problem for sure. Oh, wait a sec. What about that room? Maybe that's where I could be. Oh! Okay, okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. Is he fitting through there or what? Oh! <sighs> yes, baby. Yes. We got it. Okay, now I feel pretty good about life. We made it. She was dicey, but we did it. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. You're almost done. You have to deal with me now, Jedi. Ooh. I'm doing that again. Practice. <laughs> My play drops so suddenly when I have health. Yeah, it's because you build up the safety net of five stim canisters. And then when you have when you have no health, you have to really think about what you're doing. Oh, hell yeah. Weak. What the sh... Okay. I mean, this cheese, this is not my fault. I cannot get through there. Get out. Get. I thought they were shooting at the guy, but I was wrong. I'm not sure what I'm miss. Whoops, sorry. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm missing in this. Like, what's the point of these... What's the point of this?
That one's not my fault. So. Ooh. Guardian. Rams. Easy peasy now, boys. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Shit. Cheesing's never the player's fault. It is always the fault of the developers who made the cheesing possible. Exactly. Thank you for believing in me. Yeah, I've got to get that ball out of whatever it's encased in there. And then it goes into the receptacle at the bottom, right? Hmm, hello! I still need to go back and get that other chest. It was locked in these tangles. This was lit as a sign of respect and reverence for the sage buried here. Go Ram. Oh, Jesus. God, I really don't like this staff. Oh boy. Oh! Not this guy. God. Shit. Yeah, the staff is like, eh, it's... I mean, okay. So what's nice about it is when you're in a tight group like that, you're getting, like, extra hits in behind you that you're not really even having to think about. But you have to... You have to... Like, the damage output is so small compared to the regular... Uh, lightsaber. using heavy staff combos. The only combo that we have is uh, this. And like that's, in my opinion, it's not that good. Kind of get locked into it. Hey, what do you see, buddy? Got something? Oh, Odd can handle his staff. Votive candles. The most common offerings brought to Mictrol's tomb were votive candles, generally encased in metal and adorned with carvings. It's said that their flames represented Mictrol's unending power. Sure.
Oh, hello. Do we have a thing over here? What if I just... I, th I thought this was going to connect to the other side that we went in previously, but. Let's see what you found. Mainly use the staff for blocking blasters and heavy cannon, guys. Yeah, that's pretty good. My friend, what I found here is disconcerting. It seems these candles were offerings brought to this tomb in, exal in exaltation of the sage Mictrul. At first, I believed them votives to the life wind, but the further I delve into this tomb, the less the evidence supports this. And yet there's one gift that intrigues me, statuary of Zepho holding circular objects, much like spheres. Though much of this tomb is well preserved, there are uniformly these are uniformly destroyed. An interesting puzzle. Ah, hold on. Hold on. I think there's a receptacle over here. Yeah. All right, Charlie. Have a good one, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Shit. I wonder if we're invincible here. <laughs> They always dodge that. Oh, I see. Okay. You're not invincible there? Found it the hard way? Okay. Good to know. Just lucky. I'll take luck sometimes. There we go. Grab it from further. Make sure we note this for the strategy guide. Ah, god damn it. Oh, wait a sec. This water is messing with it, I think. I think the water is messing it up. I gotta figure out how to stop the water. Or what? Beady, literally. It's been two seconds. What? How are you supposed to aim these? Is the better question. Wait, I got no more balls. Oh, they're on the ground. I mean, I guess. There we go. I For some reason, I thought they blew up whenever you... Whenever you shot them, but... Maybe they only blow up if they hit the right thing. 
What the f Oh. <laughs> We're good. That was tricky. I think it basically goes where you're looking. Yeah, the challenge is the basically part. Because it kind of does it. Like, it basically goes where you're looking. Kind of feels... Of soldier. They were killed for stealing strange. The offering to the sage. I need to go back to this rope or down below. I need to keep going higher, though. Let me work back into that main room. Hey, big fox. What's up, man? Okay, so... The rain or the water uh, prevents us from carrying these between areas. Oh, but there's a bunch here. So hold up. It looks like maybe I can... Like, see how it it's almost looks like it's holding that together? Oh, but it's, again, it's going through the... It's going through the rain. Hold on. Is it surrounding it? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Holy crap. Holy crap, we've done it. That was cool. I honestly didn't know if I would be able to pull that off there. Get in the hole. Here, see. It has to be the actual solution, no? Is that not the... Is that not the solution? <gasps> I moved it, like, behind the... Uh... So the rain was falling, and I took it to the other to the other ledge, and went. What the? Oh no! Okay, good. My controller died for a sec. It was the solution, just not the way to get there, not the intended way. See, guys, this is why, when I release the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Compendium Strategy Guide Supplement by Christopher Odd, with help from Twitch chat. I am able to charge the big bucks. I can charge the big bucks because we do things in unconventional ways. Speedrunners are going to want that. Absolutely. Speedrunners are going to want that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Here it is. I have finally found an intact representation What's your cut? of this sacred Zepho artifact. I'll give you 100% of the proceeds. Closely. This is Mictrul at the Vault Umbergano. How's that sound? You can see an object in their hand. Based on this imagery, I believe this object allows a force wielder to perceive the mysteries of the Vault. This is the key and the guide. The Zepho Astrium. But who would destroy images of it and why? It requires more research. However, our next step is clear. Find an astrium, if any still exist. I can do that. An astrium. You ever heard of it? Me neither. But a key. Yeah, I understand that. Looks like we know what we have to find. Multiple entries, okay. Master Cordova journeyed to Zepho, the homeworld of an ancient civilization of the same name. Same species built the vault on Bogano where he hid the holocron. On Zepho, he discovered a tomb dedicated to the powerful sage McTroll. Cordova's exploration 
revealed the existence of a Zepho Astrium, a tool that could allow him to access the vault in Bogano. Okay. Cordova's Journey. Finally found an intact representation of the most sacred Zepho artifact, a depiction of Mictral at the vault on Bogano. You can see the object in their hand. I believe it allows a force wielder to perceive the mysteries of the vault. It is key and the guide. The Zepho Astrium. But who destroyed images of it and why? It requires further research. However, the next step is clear. Find an Astrium, if any still exist. Cool. Look at him holding that thing there. It's excellent. It's excellent. Sorry. Uh... How much longer will I be streaming? What time is it? 1.53? Probably like uh, 40 minutes or so. I want to be done by about 2.30. So I can schedule the um, the XCOM premiere. Oh, hello. Hey BD, what's this? What is it, BD? Launch material. Serape? I mean... Okay. Didn't we pick up something? I swear to God, we picked up something that said, like, a hat. Oh, wait. May oh, maybe it was... Maybe it was this? No, I'm not sure. It's scheduled, but, um... I have to click the Premiere button. And I don't want to click the Premiere button early... Because then it just sits in somebody, everybody's sub box for like hours and it's kind of annoying. I find when people schedule premieres really far ahead, it's a bit off-putting. For my own sanity. No, I haven't forgotten about the Invincible Vines. I just need to go back and do them. Don't you worry. Hey, check this out. So Stim Canisters completely refill your force meter. That seems straight broken. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Would that bring more viewers, though? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like with XCOM, people are gonna... People know when it goes up. There's like... 10 to 20,000 people every day that know exactly when XCOM's happening. Okay, question is... How am I going to work back to that locked, um, Very box? Good, You've cleared the way. What are you talking about? <laughs> she used us. I needed this tomb raised. And now that I have what I need, you're of no use. Oh, God. Oh, he did can it! reverse what she's done? I can never yes. miss these again. Focus, the encryption keeps her out for good. Excellent. Pro droid processing unit. What's it like hacking other droids anyway? Which monitor am I currently using? Yeah, I feel weird about hacking people too. I have three what monitors in front of me. Right? Uh, the gaming monitor that I'm using is uh, Predator. Acer Predator. Control damaged Imperial probe droids? Interesting. Slice probe droids after pulling them to you. We should check in with the Mantis. Trilla probably knows where they are. You sure the comms fixed? They're not answering. Something's wrong. We need to get back. It's uh, 2560 by 1440, 144 hertz. Nobody around. If that's what you were looking some for. Some kind of trap. Seems like we've been walking into a lot of them lately. Wait, do you hear that? Where the frick? Oh, God. Have we been in here? This looks like a death trap. Oh, I think this is where we entered, isn't it? Or 
girlfriend and I also have X34s. Yeah, nice. They make good monitors. They make good monitors. Uh, okay, hold on. If I go back down, then I've got that green thing. Let me let me see what's up here. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. I'm never gonna get promoted. Exactly. I'm never gonna get promoted. I honestly don't. I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to this thing. Yep, there cool. You go. Sometimes you just follow the path. You know, you do it for the strategy guide. Erodium. These poor souls, man. These poor, poor, poor souls. Did I rumble here? That's taking me over to this jump that we couldn't hit before, but I don't know if I really care. The thing is, I th I think the that chest that we had or that we were looking for was like down in this area, no? How am I going to get back there? Hey, Rubia. I'm new to Twitch, and I'm wondering if it's possible to watch the stream from the beginning now. Yeah, you can. You can go into, um, go into, like, the videos tab and click on past broadcasts. And then, uh, just click on the one that shows today, and you can watch from the beginning. Chat, do I need to go down this? I need to go down here, I think. Or do I go down here? I think this one, yeah? Thanks, Luckless. Is the game open world or linear? Um, it's both. It's kind of like open areas. It's open areas. You fly to like a planet and then you can do whatever you want on that planet. Mostly, they lock certain things behind acquiring different powers. So it's a little bit guided in that respect. Was not to play. Oh, too early. See ya. See, there's something there that we can pull. I'm gonna see if this loops. Oh, I should have hacked the thing. I forgot about that already. Your life is mine, Jedi. Okay. Yeah. Right here, BD. And look at that full force there. Hey, why am I letting this guy just hammer on me? <laughs> what the frick? 
I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I lost all I lost everything there. I lost it all. Hey, Dankye, what do you think about The Witcher on Netflix? I thought it was awesome. I really like it. What the? Drop. I know I had too much health. God, it's true. I fight. I should just. I should find a mod that keeps us on one hit. And I would probably never die. I don't even know if I'm going the right way to unlock the place that I want to unlock. Hey, BD, let's go. <laughs> Artist enemies of game, the dagger wielding purge troopers. I don't find those guys that difficult. Um Sometimes I just fall out of a rhythm. The Jedi. That didn't work. No! Sometimes you just gotta embrace the elevators. Pep dog, thanks for the prime sub. Or the real sub. Or the the normal sub. Karen! Karendi, thanks for the prime sub. No elevator music in the future in the future? Yeah, that's true. Okay, you know what? I'm out of here, you guys. I wanna leave. I wanna leave this planet. We can come back to it later. I got this. I got this. Uh. Okay, so from here, I need to. Maybe take this elevator. From the bottom. There's a bunch. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! Will. Ah! And then... I guess I'm just going to follow this. Thanks. Oh, quick in the back. Shit. Thanks, bro. I thought you were doing like a vacation or something. Get him. He's going down. Fire on the He's ducking fast. It's sick when you pull off, like, actual Jedi moves. Man, I'm so confused on how to get back here. No, hold on. Am I that confused? Ish.
I'm a little confused. Oh, God. I jumped early. Oh, was that you, Luckless? You just typed his name in? Thanks, man. 420 for 20 deaths. Keep up the great work, Jedi Grandmaster. Archangel 2402. Thanks for the Prime sub as well. I appreciate the support, guys. Thanks so much. I hope you're having a good time today. That's not the play. But I'm trying it for the guide. I think I'm like... Oh yeah, we're... We're getting there. What do you guys think about this where you have to return to your ship... And you have to kind of backtrack. Oh shit, this is new. This is it. Okay, I want to like. What the frick? Up here. What? Oh my god. Okay. Oh. BD. Where are we? BD1. Hello, buddy. Where are you? BD? I'm not sure how I feel Gotta about find a way out of here. Wherever here is. I'm not sure how you feel about, like, cutscene deaths like that. In another ploy to kill Cal, Trill lured him into a hanging sarcophagus and instructed her forces to shoot it down. In that moment, Cal regained the ability to pull his lightsaber and narrowly escaped. On their way out of the tomb, Cal and Beatty found another encrypted log from Cordova, explaining the key to the Bagano vault is a device called the Zepho Astrium. Vault, uh, sorry, to access the vault, they'll need to find one. Before he could return to the ship, Cal's captured by a bounty hunter who they work or remains a mystery. Oh. Mage Windu, thanks for the donation. Says, hey man, I just want to say you're one of my favorite people to watch. Found you from your Witcher 3 videos. Some of the best content I've seen. Keep doing you, man. All the best from Australia. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the kind words, man. Thank you. That's awesome. I want to visit Australia. My favorite TV show ever is made in Australia. Delian, thanks for the Prime sub as well. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of the scripted deaths, if I'm being honest. Is that a power cable? I'm just tearing the place apart. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I guess we live here now. If I was a power receptacle, where would I be? Oh, here, hold on. We're not done ripping the place apart. Oh, oh. Something back there. It's like... It was like slowly unlocking each one. I don't know if I could do that from the beginning. Maybe we could. 
Can't just end there. What's the show? Master Chef Australia. It's the best Master Chef, and uh, there are three judges that were on it for the past ten years. Were awesome, and just this season now they're changing all the judges because I don't know. Be deep underground. Probably weren't paying them enough or something. And uh, it sucks because it's going to change the whole deal. The judges were what made that show really good. Because unlike most cooking shows, like Gordon Ramsay and that kind of stuff. What? My lightsaber is missing. Oh yeah, my lightsaber is missing. Whoever locked me up took my lightsaber. Got to get it back. Hey, well, why would I even want to be back here? That's the question. Um, they really were, like, nice to their, um, contestants, and the show had a lot of credibility, I think, in, like, the food scene. Compared to, like, a MasterChef of USA or whatever. Oh, boy. I'm just, like, taking things apart willy-nilly. I don't have BD either. We'll plug this one back in, maybe? Hey, that one's got... Hour. I have to like these ones seem like they're duds. I can't look at my map or anything. Okay, hey, hold on a second. What if I connect the one that has power to these other things? I did something. Okay, here we go. We're chaining. We're chaining. I did something, he says. It's kind of how I feel this whole game. Oh, I I did something. Yeah, now we're cruising. Let's see if I can find a way out of here. Yeah, BD was the map, exactly. That's what prompted me to notice he was missing when I tried to check it. Feels like I'm being watched. <laughs> you think? Well, they have all these different animal species. Locked behind cages, as I imagine some type of, uh, <laughs> like, experiments are happening. Uh, that's not a good sign. Whoa. What happened to them? Okay. There's a big hole, like, right through the planet. Oh, where is he? What the? BD? BD1? Is that you? I found you. Are you okay? Should I be able to see him? Oh, is he on the table, maybe? Uh... 
Can I run with this? Ah, huh, cool. Oh. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, no. Oh, no, I can pull it. I can pull it. Great success. Hey. Oh, I'm happy I to feel like he too. could have probably gotten out of here on his own. Let's get that Am I wrong? Off of you. Jerks. Poor droids. Let's get out of here before the same happens to us. Oh, he was he had a restraining bolt on him? Captured along with Hal by the cr Cal by the criminal syndicate, the Haxian Brood, BD-1 is separated and thrown into a droid prison cell. Known for mercilessly scrapping droid parts, the Broods targeted him for dismantlement. Luckily, Cal finds him before the Brood can hurt him. The two plot their escape together. How'd you guys know about the restraining bolt? You guys jumped on that real quick when I mentioned it. Was that an... Maybe I just missed it or something, but... Oh, Cal mentioned it. Okay. Maybe I should listen to him once in a while. Oh, what's this? We got our map back. See that place underneath? Is that a thing? Jesus. <laughs> the bodies. Can get there. I feel like if I can rip onto the ledge. Sit. Oh, why? <laughs> what? Come on. That's terrible. What a tease. Oh well, we did it for the guide. Okay, so now we're back here. That's cool and everything. Uh, we need to... I guess he's here now so he can get in there. Uh, this thing's pumping. So maybe we take this off of here now? And get both pistons going, for whatever reason? Oh, pressure plate. Alright, sick. Hear that? Sounds like someone is home after all. Hey, I recognize this band. Oh, look at this. This is going to be bad news, bears. This is going to be bad. <laughs> what the? That's cool. And who are you? <laughs> who am I? I'm Sor Tormo, baby. I'm the boss of this operation. You have Breezy Forearms to thank for bringing us together. I will, as soon as we get out of here. 
We have a special challenger for it's a good you song, actually. An enforcer from a bygone era. A Jedi! Let's see what he's Hey, got. Charlie, what's up, buddy? Oh, somebody get baby his toy. <laughs> Are they gonna give me my weapon? Ah. Uh. I'll give you a show. Ooh. Oh, seriously? Are they just going to send wave after wave? Maybe you should come down and face me yourself. <laughs> I'm too busy counting my credits. <laughs> Talk too much. Jesus. That was another. Just wait. Now that's what I call a fight. Let's level this thing. Hit him with something really nasty. Whoa! Ooh, uglier than mating season on Yalbeck Pride. <laughs> Ah, uh, that freaking delay attack sucks. Oh, big whiffs. Yeah, this is uh, intense. If I stand on one of these when it rises. Oh no, not this thing. This guy destroyed us. Wow. What the? Okay. I gotta be a little faster on that. I think I could probably send those rockets back. Look at him, like, taunting us. Oh, okay. That worked. Oh, ho, ho! Come on. What did he just do? Oh no. I wasted two there. And I have no more powers. Damn it. Oh! 
Eat shit! Sorry. <laughs> God damn. Wait, are we not done? Are we... Am I done? No way. <laughs> That's sick. Okay. Okay. I wasted a couple of force pushes there. That was like really good against that Mantis, dude. What was his name? Hull Mantis? Hull something, right? That was good. Agrees. Almost are sweaty. You're famous down there. Yeah, they're in. Oh, null no chance. Uh, yeah, it's like pretty close to what I said, I guess. At least you're okay. Yeah, a complication we could have avoided. Luckily, we found you. We have another complication. The Empire knows about the Holocron. That's not good. Dude, that was sick. The entire mission is now at risk. And I had a nice chat with the second sister. Trilla. Yeah, sorry, I got a little bit aggressive on the swear words what there. did she tell you? She told me... She told me you betrayed her to the Empire. Is it true? She'll say anything to jeopardize this mission. Is it true? I don't think it's true, but we'll see. She was my apprentice. Before the purge. You should have told me. We're getting an encrypted message from Kashyyyk. Hey, Neko. Thanks, buddy. Obain, thanks for the sub as well. Appreciate it, man. Mari. Cal. We found Tarful, and he is willing to meet you. But that's not all. The Empire overran our position at the refinery. Saw retreated off-world. Some of us have joined the Wookiee fighters in the forests. Be careful. You too. Later. Later. We have our lead. Everything is gonna be fine. Everything's not gonna be fine. How far into the game are we right now? Hey, uh, wake up. Can we talk? Uh, what? Can we talk? I don't know what's going on between you and her. I mean, I figure it's some kind of Jedi thing, but I don't think this is the right time for it's it. It's not any of your business. Halfway? I think it's my business. And we're all in this together, aren't we? Hey, Cal. I made a mistake. And I almost got you killed. That part Sorry. was true. And they said we had Grease to blame we for being there? Make mistakes, right? <laughs> well, maybe not you. <laughs> hey, why are you cut her some slack I'm not saying do it for me but you two are the best thing that ever happened in my life before you came along all I cared about was a tight hand on a stiff eater that's a game term I know what it is <laughs> Cal life's not a game before you two all I cared about was myself easy money Now it's different. Guys, perfect timing. That was perfect timing. If that would have taken a couple of goes, then I would have had to wait for next time. But uh We haven't we haven't found any other plants for a while. But the three that we have are looking good. I don't even know what the point of them is, really. But uh, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Because we're going to do the XCOM premiere in like half an hour. So. Thank you guys so much for being here. You actually have to actively look for them. Yeah, I remember the previous ones that we found were kind of like... You'd be running past an area and the little scan thing would pop up quick. And you're like, if you don't catch that, you're going to miss it. So. Yeah. Um... Anyways, guys, thanks so much. This was really fun. Uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow. I don't know what time. Might be early again. Might not be. I'd like to do it earlier. It's kind of nice. Um, 
Because otherwise my morning, I'm just kind of like... Depends what's happening with the dogs, really. At this point. <clears throat> Hopefully the premiere doesn't crap out. Yeah, I hope so, too. Thank thanks for coming by, Sniff. Uh, I'll post a pic of the hat I make with your little dude on it in the Discord. Okay, sweet. That would be amazing.